Hey YouTubers, today I'm making a video on an MTD snowblower. If you do own an MTD snowblower like the model behind me here, it's very important that you watch this video. Now if you have an MTD blower that looks like this, it may have the gear system in the transmission with a bunch of gears in there. So I want to get the cover off by removing the four bolts holding it. They're over here, they're 3 8 just remove those. The cover is going to come right off like that. Now this is the system I'm talking about here. All these gears, maybe some of you guys have had your blower open and saw these. Now what happens is these get worn out, especially if they don't get lubed every year down here. There's needle bearings in some of the gears. So what happens is with the gear being loose, it forces the E-clip out of its socket and then the gear comes out and then your drive won't work anymore. You might think that you can just buy the gears to fix this problem but no, you have to buy a whole kit in order to repair this problem. They don't sell gears separately and today I'm going to show you how to replace the whole kit. Now I just got a new kit today. It's all out of the box. Comes with the drive shaft, comes with the shaft for the friction disc. All the three gears are there. Got brand new bearings in there. Comes with this as well, the friction disc. It's also got a brand new rubber on there as well. And it also comes with all the bearings and bushings required for that. And there's also another small gear inside there. So basically it's a complete kit, grease included. There's lithium grease here, and there's other grease here, a low temp grease I guess. And there's even instructions on how to replace it. There's the part number for the kit, 753-05173. You have to order this from MTD. I paid around $150 for this kit. But once you replace all these parts, you basically have a brand new transmission on your snowblower. So to start this job, I'm going to start by removing the two wheels. You're going to need a ratchet with a half inch socket. And now I'll just pull the wheel right off and also remove the spacer over here. And now I'll just repeat the process on the other side. So now you're going to need to remove both E-clips on the shaft over here. So I'll grab a good flat screwdriver, insert it in the clip like that and pull up. And now do the same with the clip over here. Now basically at this point we're going to remove the shaft from in here and the gears will come out. So I'll pull on the shaft to the left hand side of the blower. Now you're going to see that the gears will come out. Now one of the gears came out and take this out and make sure you retrieve the little keyway that fell off the shaft. And in between each gear, there's a spacer or washer that goes there. So make sure you don't lose that. It's all in a new kit, but you want to make sure you remember exactly how it went. There are instructions, but it's always better if you do it right away with it in your mind. Also, you can take pictures with your digital camera first to make sure you have everything in the right place. Now at this point here, you can remove the shaft completely. The two bushings are going to come off the shaft. Don't worry about that. There's new bushings in the kit as well. What we're going to remove now is the E-clip right on the outside of the transmission by the bearing. So again, grab a flat screwdriver and remove it. And there's also one on the other side too. And there's also another E-clip on the shaft of the friction disc and you need to remove that as well. Now that the clips are removed, you can pop the bearings out. And there's a bearing on each side of the transmission. Now on the right hand side of the transmission where I just took off the bearing, you're going to notice on that shaft that there's a small washer here that you need to remove. You may not see it at first, but it's there. And it's very important that it goes back in there when we reassemble this. At this point, we're going to remove the whole friction disc and the shaft. So just grab the whole thing like that. Pull it out, move the cable here, and take it all out. So here are all the parts I took out. There's three gears, and I'm leaving this together. Then I can reference it when I'm putting it back together. And check out the wear and tear in this gear. 
And if you look at the bearing inside this other gear here, you can see it's missing a few roller bearings. Now the last thing I'm going to remove from this is the drive cable over here. I'm just going to lift it up like that, then grab the cable with needle nose pliers and remove the cable. The reason why I'm removing the cable from there is just so that when you go to reassemble it, it's going to be much easier because the cable is not going to be in your way. So now I'm going to put the parts back together for the friction drive with the shaft. I'm just going to put a bit of grease around here for now. Now make sure you have the friction disc assembly on the shaft like this. This part here points toward the side with the bolt, just like that. Now right here you need to install an E-clip in there. Next you'll need to install this gear over here, right onto there. Now grab a washer from the collection, insert one right here. Next you need to grab this gear from the parts and there's a bit of grease in the roller bearing inside here but I'm going to add a bit more and it's important that you do this before you assemble it. Also it's important that every year you grease the roller bearings inside these gears. So I'm going to insert it in there with my finger make sure it goes in all the way to all the bearings in there. Now I'll grab the gear and insert it on the shaft in this position here. You'll notice that it's much tighter on the shaft than what the old gear was. Now the next thing I'm going to do is wipe the friction wheel here with a shop towel and some straight gas in there. It really works good. Gets all the grease out, any oil or rubber particles left, then got a nice dry surface. Now grab your whole friction disc assembly and on the left of the blower you'll see the hole here. You want to insert this part of the shaft in there, just like that. Now if you put your snow blower in the first gear, the mechanism for the friction disc here should be in this position and that's a good position to get everything back together. Now what you want to do is grab the part from the friction wheel assembly here, right here and line it up with the shaft over here, just like that. And I'll pull the shaft through and put it in this hole over here. Just like that. Now I'll grab one of the new bearings from your kit and insert it over the shaft and into the socket here. Just like that. Next grab a flat washer from the kit here and insert it over the shaft. Just like that. Now I'll grab one of the bearings and insert it over that. and the bearing is going to fit right in the socket of the body. Now I'll grab an E-clip from the kit and insert it over here. So now we're going to move on to the right side of that shaft down here. Now remember to insert that small washer into there. Now insert a new bearing from the kit, push it in all the way like that. And now on this side with the new modifications, we don't need to put a knee clip here. It's a nut that goes there. And now we'll install the 9 16 nut. It's a lock nut. Now you can lock the shaft with an adjustable to tighten up the nut so it doesn't move. Now all this is installed, last thing to do is to put a knee clip right here. So you can simply just push down on the clip like that. And that's good. Now the next thing you want to grab out of the new kit are the two bushings here. They're made of plastic. And now insert some grease inside of them. You can be liberal with the grease while doing this. Now insert one of the bushings in this position here on the top hole and do that on both sides. So now we're going to work on installing the drive axle and you want to get all the gears in that in the proper order to do that. 